In this video, we will be studying about the associative and the distributive property of whole numbers. See, I have told you what are whole numbers in a previous video and the closure and the commutative property of whole numbers. So, let's study about the associative property. See, what is the associative property? This says that a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c brackets and brackets. If you take the brackets on the suitable numbers, any suitable numbers, you take the bracket first of a plus b and then add c to it. First of b and c and then add a to it, you'll get the a, same answer. a, b and c are whole numbers. For example, Let's take a is equal to 3, b is equal to 10, and c is equal to 7. Right? So let's use the associative property in this which says a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c and the suitable brackets. So let's take a we have taken 3, b we have taken 10, and c we have taken 7. a we have taken 3, b we have taken 10, and c we have taken 7. So let's solve this first. First we have according to the board mass we need to solve the brackets first. So 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 7 is equal to 3. Add the board mass according to the board mass add the brackets 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So 13 plus 7 gives you 20. 3 plus 17 gives you 20. So, this is the associative property which means that a plus b is equal, uh, plus c is equal to a plus b plus c where you can uh, take the brackets according to how it suits you. The other property is distributive property of multiplication over addition. So, in this property what happens we get both addition as well as multiplication. This property says a plus b into c which is equal to c first multiply a with c and then multiply b with c and then put the sign of plus this is how you solve which means that a into c plus sign b into c C is the common number uh, apart from brackets the multiplication is only with C. C is only in the multiplication. So we will multiply C and A first then C and B first and then we will add. So let's take an example. We will take A is equal to 10. B we will take as 3 and C we will take as 5. Let's say. So let's solve according to this property A plus b into c which means that a is 10 b is 3 into c that is 5 so 10 into 5 then plus 3 into 5 same way we are multiplying c into a c into b so we will get an answer 50 Plus 3 into 5 is 15. So we will get an answer as 65. This is your distributive property of multiplication over addition. I hope you have understood these property. In the coming videos we will be taking numericals on these two properties. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.